cross player. Yeah. Not delicate. Good afternoon. George Cavaligos for HFT Bonds. A little more volatility today, and the patterns are breaking down a little bit here, I think. Um, we'll have to see tomorrow. Inside day today, which means we had a higher low and a lower high versus yesterday's trade. Minor trend change indicator. Not a, tr not a trend change, not an outside key reversal or a key reversal or anything like that. It's an inside day. It's one of the three, I think minor trend change indicators and all you're looking for is to make a higher high above today's high so you're looking for a 132.11 print in the 10 year and a 147 even print in the bonds problem with that trade is the stop has to be today's low so then you're looking at what 130.128 and wow what was it 145 something I don't even remember what the low was in the bonds we caught it nicely this morning. I didn't get long. I was trying to avoid the, you know, trying to bottom fish in a bear move idea. Even though it looked great, I, I nailed it. A, B, C, you know, perfect. And caught the first move down. When I walked in, the door got short, bounced off the fib retracement. I didn't get long. That was my big mistake today. And I, I don't know if it's a mistake again. I'm still struggling with this trying to trade with the trend idea quite a bit even when you know you start to slip into these corrective patterns you know sometimes they fail and if I had bought them at you know what 131 28 this morning or whatever and had a three tick stop on them I would have been okay but mistakes should be made in the direction of the trend not on the bottom fishing or top picking kind of idea even though we did try to pick the top a little bit early again I kept it tiny because I knew I was early and we went a little bit further than I thought we took out the C equals A objective at uh, what was it 07 plus initially and uh, 146 14 went a bit further went all the way up to 11 on the 10 year and I didn't want to take a lot of heat so I got out of that of course, that was the high. And then, uh, you know, we had a little bit of a sell-off, and we made a little bit of money back, and that was pretty much it. And then the market just sort of waffled around the rest of the day. And tomorrow we have the same, you know, situation, the same setup again. Minor difference. Fed's buying again tomorrow morning in the POMO. Then there's a tips auction. Tips are different than treasuries a little bit they have a different kind of buying uh, public out there they're not auctioned as frequently as treasuries and I think the auction should go okay today's seven year went okay and yesterday's five year went sort of okay there weren't any disasters in these auctions it's just with the year end and a lot of the customers closed down and the dealers not wanting to hold a lot of inventory because of the lack of customer flows you know they're getting all this hedging in the futures we're seeing the futures go down now these guys are along all the paper I think we're going to have a choppy sideways to higher trade I think we go up to 11 plus in the tenure I think we go up to 147 even in the bonds I don't want to look for too much more than that um, first I'm hoping because we did go out kind of weak this year I'm hoping we can get a bit of a dip overnight our friends you know our landlords in China are still you know seeing some good selling in the early session at night we did not see the selling by the London hedge funds uh, last night as much as I thought we would so maybe they're down you know on their positions look for the Asia sell-off I'm hoping we can get a bit of a dip 131.30 would be the uh, fib retracement I would try to hold support and take a shot on the buy side there with a stop below 28 on the bonds 146.06.08 is a good fib retracement area to look for a dip early tonight and on the upside, make sure you leave your offers right there. And it w my offer this time will be an MIT. I made the mistake of not putting an MIT on my 132.07 offer in the afternoon. It would have been a great sale. Um, put an MIT on it. Mark it if touched. If we're trying to pick levels in 11 plus, you might even want to be proactive and put it at 11 in front of that level or put it at today's high at 146.31. Don't get greedy. You're trying to take out, you know, minor incremental gains here in a bear market. 
if we don't see it by the POMO tomorrow morning, by the buyback, you know, keep moving your stop up, cut your risk as the market moves. If it does move up from those levels, like I'm thinking it will, and that's the game plan. All right, a um, couple things. <coughs> we are doing the pre non farm payroll webinar again on uh, January 3rd. That is not tomorrow, obviously. And what we'd like is if you guys have any questions about what we do here, whether it's about Elliott Wave, you know, anything specific about the bond market for me, um, anything specific about the currency markets for Ashraf, anything specific about the uh, equity markets for Fari, um, we're looking to have, you know, some prepared questions from our customers and our uh, viewers out there. So if you feel like uh, throwing us an email, um, admin at hamzianalytics.com and or uh, no, that, that's, that's the best spot. Admin at hamzianalytics.com. Send your questions. You know, you maybe label it pre non farm payroll questions for George or Ashraf or Fari, and we're looking for some input from you guys on that. Second, um, holidays are coming up. Um, Monday is a half day in the markets. Everything closes at noon, Chicago time. Tuesday, obviously, everything is closed for Christmas. Wednesday, I will not be here. And I won't be in Monday either. I'm going out of town and taking a little break. And we'll be back on Thursday after Christmas. So I'll see you then. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. Thanks a lot.